Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Long Trail Brewery and they're up in Bridgewater Corners, Vermont. Guys, I did a bunch of their beers, several of them, many years ago when I first started doing their uh, doing craft beer reviews and uh, nothing in a big bottle like this. Uh, everything that I did from them years ago I found to be very transitional. Uh, it wasn't superly Superly, is that a word? <laughs> I wasn't uh, very impressed with what they did. They, they were decent, but they were not outstanding. Uh, good transition beers, like I said. Uh, something you can get into to get off the micro lovers. Uh, I haven't bothered purchasing any more of their beers, uh, beers recently because of that aspect of it. But they are doing some bigger beers, some tastier beers from what I've heard and read. Uh, and this will be the first one that I've gotten. Rico sent me this one. Uh, this is their Culmination Ale and Imperial Chocolate Porter. And this comes in at 9.3% alcohol by volume. And it says Culmination. This is a brush and barrel series celebrating the art of craft. Uh, Ale brewed with cocoa nibs. It doesn't say Imperial Porter or anything like that on there. So I didn't know what to expect to, before I started doing the review. And I did a little reading and uh, tried to re exactly find out what kind of beer it was. Uh, this is in a 22 ounce bomber. Uh, I didn't see any dating on the label. And for this style, it's not super critical being an Imperial Porter. So we'll take a closer look at the bottle and see if there's anything written on the bottle when I come back. For the final chug but let's see if uh, they're going to impress me a little bit more with this series and the bigger beers and the bigger bottles than they did when i did them many moons ago many many moons ago so uh and there are a lot of uh, a lot of breweries on the east coast now new england and on the east coast uh, that are doing some really 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 tasty stuff giving the west coast a run for their money uh, and as far as that goes, a lot of the craft beer breweries in the United States now have stepped up to the plate, stepped up their game, and are brewing really exceptional ales. So uh, hopefully these guys are too. We're about to find out. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed here on Rate Beer, and I don't have them on Beer Advocate. So let's go over to Untapped. Untapped has it as 46 IBUs. So I don't know why Ray Beer and Beer Advocate can't get that information when Untapped does. And like I told you guys on the last couple of beer reviews, I'm going to start using Untapped more. Uh, the, the, uh, the site seems to have more information than Ray Beer and Beer Advocate does a lot of times. So. And a lot of people have, uh, have uh, had this beer. It says there are 7,041 ratings. That's a lot more than 6, 8, or 10 or whatever these guys get at Ray Beer and Beer Advocate. So, eh, it's what it is. A lot of, since this Untapped's come out, a lot of people, it's a mobile app too, uh, a lot of people check in with their phones and stuff on that, and, and uh, seems to be uh, doing very well. So, anybody that wants to look me up on Untapped, I'm Big Valves, B-I-G-V-A-L-V-E-S. So let's get on with this, guys. Uh, commercial description says, this dark chocolate porter is very rich. Roasty beer with top notes of chocolate derived from freshly roasted cocoa, nibs, Strong, but uh, relatively smooth on the palate. Its malty sweetness is even balanced with bitterness and a slight dryness from its alcoholic strength. Look for solid notes of coffee, licorice, mild chocolate, and more subtle hints of fruit and spices. 
uh, food pairings for this style of beer, guys. Says, well, I didn't even look it up like a dummy. Let me uh, type it in real quick here and see what we come up with. The uh, the beer, the beer, like I said, is in a 22 ounce bottle. So uh, you're getting you're getting a bang for your buck. And uh, Rico didn't tell me what he paid for this bottle of beer. So Rico, you might want to post that in the comments. Uh, of what uh, this beer costs. So, food pairings, cuisine is barbecue, cheese is butter, green, good Havarti Swiss, and it goes well with chocolate dishes, of course, and the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat, glass run, pint, back and iron, of mugs, style, and sidel. I'm using my favorite snifter today. It says here, not recommended for extended celery unless ABV extends average range. Well, it's 9.3%. I think it exceeds average range. So, okay, I can't think of a single reason why you could not sell this beer, guys. So, Nice hiss, and to the glass we go. Very dark coming out of the bottle. Doesn't seem to be over the carbonated, so let's stand it up. Get us a nice pour in there, and enough to leave for her to have a glass. About a finger of head over to the light, guys. Uh, some slight red ribbiness around the bottom thin part of the glass. The big ball part is pretty dark. And having that red rubiness uh, around the outside, very typical of a porter. They're usually not pitch black, usually, not always, usually not pitch black like the stouts are. Should be a little thinner on the mouth, though, even though it's an imperial porter. It should be very impressive. And which actually goes against what porters were originally designed for. They were the lower dark, lower ABV dark beers originally. And the stouts were the heavier, uh, bigger ABV beers. A little richer malt, a little thicker, a little chewier. But uh, everybody's doing their own thing, so uh, um, they could have called it a stout. It's up to the brewer to determine what he wants to call it. Whether he wants to call it a porter, or whether he wants to call it a stout. So it's entirely up to them guys. So let's get a nose on this one. Oh yes, rich roasted malt, definitely getting the hints of the chocolate from the cocoa nibs. Have some dark fruit, caramel, and toffee. Maybe a little bit of hint of coffee, not a big coffee on the nose. Might have more on the taste. Definitely getting the roasted malt and the uh, chocolate on the nose. Smells very good, not getting a lot of alcohol on the nose, so maybe they've got something going on here. Let's give it a taste. Cheers everybody, cheers Rico. That's tasty. That is very, very tasty. Big bittersweet chocolate. Maybe some slight hints of coffee in there. Roasted malt is definitely there. Wow. This is very, very tasty, guys. Uh, and I think I told you these guys are out of Vermont. Yeah, I did. Unbelievably smooth drinking for a 9.3%. Wow. That's probably the best beer that I've had from, from a Long Trail Brewery. That's very impressive. I might have to change my notes and... Try to look look at these beers, and I can get some of their beers here, but I have not seen this one. Most of the stuff we get down here is they're usually twelve ounce bottles and they're six packs. Uh, but uh, but may have uh, may have may have a different brewer. They may have stepped up to to the, get the plate and changed their game up a little bit and bring a little bit better, tastier beer. We'll have to see. Might have to review re-review some of their. Very tasty. I'm going to step out on the deck and we'll pour her a glass and my fire for stogie to go with this. Very, very tasty beer, guys. Wow. Very impressive. I'll be right back. We'll see where this one ends up. I like it.
Hey right, guys, I'm back. I've been sitting on this about 30 minutes or so. Very tasty beer. I checked the bottle when I got back. There was no vintage or any kind of dating on it whatsoever. Long Trail is a big enough brewery that can do that. Uh, I don't know uh, whether they date any of their stuff at all, or if it's on a six pack, the carton, or the uh, case, or, or, or whatever, but just has nothing on it. Uh, I don't know if they plan on doing this particular beer year after year and using the same label. Uh, I don't know. Would like to see a vintage on it, guys. Even though it's an Imperial Porter, 9.3%, I would like to know what year it was put in the bottle. So, with that being said, let's do the final chug. Wonderful aroma. Like I said earlier, the best beer I've had from these guys at Barry Long Trail. Delicious. Roasted malt, bittersweet chocolate, caramel, toffee, hints of some dark fruit, maybe just a little coffee, not a lot of coffee, just a little bit, just some slight hints of it. The chocolate and the roasted malt is standing out more than anything else, guys. Very tasty. Very well done. Just like to see a little more information on their label than what they're giving us. So, uh, with that being said, guys, uh, to me, I do think it's an A beer, but I think it's at the bottom of the scale. So I'm going to give this uh, the 8, and numeric rating on this, guys, would be a 90. Uh, probably get a little bit better grade if we knew when it was put in the bottle. So with that being said, I enjoyed this. Uh, Rico, thanks again, my brother, for sending it to me. Like I said, probably the tastiest one I've had from Long Trail. Very nice. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 89 in a very good range, so we're pretty damn close there, one number away. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says overall 95, but 67 in the style. And we're going to go over to Untapped. Untapped says 3.86, not quite to the 4 category. A lot of people have checked in on this beer, 8,681. Uh, 72 people this month alone. And I'm doing this on the 31st of July, the end of the last day of July. So, uh, very nice. I enjoyed it. Very tasty beer. Uh, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. If they would put some more information on it, let me know what vintage the bottle is. So we'll know if we want to do a side-by-side -side or, or whatever. You know, uh, just like to have that information, guys. And, and they're a big enough brewery they could do that if they choose to. And they choose not to. So, if you've had this one from Long Trail, this is their Brush and Barrel Series Culmination Imperial Porter. Let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. Come on back. We'll take that walk together. See what's in the fridge. See you then.